we are looking about seeking God for help. How do we seek God, you know, effectively? I just want to give you a few points before we pray. Number one, you believe that he is there. Amen. Amen. Well, you can't be looking for somebody that you don't know whether he's there or not. Or you are not, you, you, you know. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, what does it tell us? Without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is and that is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So that's the first thing. You want to seek God effectively. In all the Psalms that we have read today, you will see that man, he never doubted whether God was there or not. And remember, your, pro your problem does not change the position of God. Your challenges in life, the devil, even victimizing your life, does not change God. Uh, don't be so conscious of the devil that you, 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 you become unaware of God anymore. The fact that the devil is torturing you, it means there is a God greater than the devil. Amen. Amen. So he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Number two, you seek him to the exclusion of all else. Amen. Amen. The teacher already told us, yeah, even before you come to the pastor, also, you seek whom? You seek God first. Let's look at it in Psalm 121. Are we together? Yes. Amen. Amen. Psalm 121. And we are all going to echo it together. Psalm 121, verse 1. If you are there, say amen. Amen. One, two, go. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From where my help. Amen. Amen. I will lift up my eyes where? Okay. Unto the hills. It is there your help will come from. Your help will come from there this morning in Jesus' Amen. name. You see, if you, if you learn to connect with God, you have no problem. What did I say? If you learn to connect with God, I have no problem. you have no problem. It may be as big as the mountain. In fact, while you are praying, it may seem nothing is happening. Don't worry. Don't worry. It may take a, an hour. It may take a day. It may take a month. It may take a year. But when God does like this, that is finished. And as long as you are connecting with God, that problem will not kill you. Amen. It will not destroy you. Amen. It may be a man. It may be a, you know somebody oppressing your life. It may continue one year, three years. They did it for the children of Israel. And it seemed as if nothing was happening. They were signed. But the moment God started to move, even Pharaoh could not, could not stop him. Pharaoh would not be able to stop God in your life in Jesus' Amen. name. So you believe that he's there. You seek him to the exclusion of all others. And then you pray until the assurance comes. Amen. Amen. The assurance will come. Amen. Say it, say it. In Luke chapter 18, you know, we read it last night uh, the, in the prayer. Shall not God avenge his own elect who crown to him? When? Yeah. Day and night, though he be along with them. What does the Bible say? He will avenge them. How? Speedily. God is never too late. Your God is never too late. Tell yourself, my God is never too late. My God is never too late. Your miracle will come in Jesus' name. Amen. And a woman did it. Hannah was her name. And the Bible says, after she had prayed, and then the priest pronounced something, she went out, her countenance was no more sad. Get to the point in which you can rise up from the place of prayer, your countenance is no more sad. You know the victory has come. Amen. 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 It is, look, the spiritual life is similar in a way to the, to the, to the physical life. As a woman, you know, if you want to, when you are in labor, when the labor starts, which we are pregnant, don't you know? Eh? Then you say, oh, something is happening. Something is happening. It's the same spiritual. And when you have delivered the baby, you have delivered the baby, you know you have delivered. The same thing spiritually. You are praying, you are in labor, you are in labor, you are in labor. All, all of your mind, everything just comes down. Boom. And there is peace in your heart, you have got it. Amen. You can take it to the bank, your father is there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And you honor him by your faith. That's the last thing. What, do I do? what did I say? Paul the Apostle in the, in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 27, verse 25, he said, it is going to be as God told me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So you can begin to confess. 
You begin to confess. God has said it. It's going to be like that. Rise up and let us pray. What else are you praying? Are, 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 are you waiting for God for? Ask him and say, God, I have been waiting for you on this, on this, on this. I want to have my victory. You are calling on God for help. Oh, God, send help unto me. Your help will come from above.